That surprise finally happened. There's Goose. Where's Willie? There she is. She is 10 days old. Well, no, I lied. She's 12 days old now. He's 22 days old. He is uh, 10 days older than her. So by the time they're three or four months old, we won't be able to tell the difference. Um, the lady that we got them from hatched a bunch of them. She had, uh, what'd she have? She had six females or four, four males. And then she had to wait for the next hatch to get the females. And the guineas are going away tonight. I don't want to torture my neighbors anymore. And I'm kind of tired of this. I have to shoo them. Shoo them off the roof. And mowing needs to be done again. Look at that menagerie of creatures. I love it. The big peeking ducks. These ducks are the same size, or sorry, same age as these, and I have somebody coming to buy this bantam flock. I'll keep my death layers and my uh, spitzhobbins, but the bantam flock is going away. Little little baby goose, they're not baby goose, wow. I'm a little behind today. The uh, Campbell, khaki Campbell ducklings hang out here. They hide underneath this coop that I've been moving. As you can see, it's got a patch of yuck that's starting to grow back already. Actually, there's a, these scarecrow things don't really work at all. They work for crows and that's it. This right here was a patch of just mud and that's gone now. So the emu love watching the little birds here. Everybody seems to get along. It'll be a little bit quieter with the guineas gone but the roosters will have to do their job a little bit better. But they, it's like they chase, they enjoy the chase. They don't do anything. They just like to chase them. They run around, upsetting all the roosters. And they're funny when they start doing their little spastic dance. Full speed. You hear the neighbor's music in the background. They will definitely appreciate the guineas being gone. There's a guy that's gonna come get them that uh, lost all of his little baby chickens and baby turkeys and guineas that he had hatched or got as babies. Uh, raccoon got them all. Uh oh. I don't want them to, so they can fit through the fence. Goose, goose, come on. I need to mow out here really bad. Our riding mower's down, so we have to push mow it, and my shoulder's messed up. I can't do that. But they, they're like little toddlers. You have to follow them, everything they do. They poop everywhere, they get into everything. If there's a hole in the fence, they'll find it and they'll slip through and uh, then they'll freak out that they're on the other side of the fence and you're not. They cuddle like puppies. So they will like, lay with you, lay their head on your shoulder and sleep. They get up every once in a while. Ducks have like made a mud pit over here but that's okay. It'll dry up and it'll wash away eventually. I wonder how they'll feel when I actually cut the grass. I did this, I don't know, a week and a half ago and it's up to my knees in some spots. That's what the children are for. So once all these little ones go tonight, um, I will probably integrate I have a vacation next week. I'll integrate the death layers and the Spitzhobbins into that coop and see if they do okay with those younger birds. Uh, they're about a month difference, maybe a month and a half, so we'll see. Emus have a fascination with these guys. I have a feeling these little ones will go to a good home.
I like that their feed is $23 for a 50 pound bag instead of, oh, how much have I been paying for a 40 pound of chicken organic feed? 33, so three, $33 for a 40 pound bag and I go through two or three of those, probably about two a week. I'm trying to even it out with some other stuff to, I don't know, just make it lighter on the pocketbook pretty much. It's pretty expensive. But it's worth it. They all seem to be very happy out here, just trudging through the grass, eating bugs half the day. I let them out at about 7 a.m. and just cross my fingers that they don't get taken out by hawks and eagles. Um, eagles have been coming by every day. Roosters are doing their job. Uh oh, where did my babies go? There they are. There's some dogs with them. I don't want the little ones to chase them. Come on, Goose Goose. Come on, Goose Goose. They kind of follow sometimes. Come on, dude. Come on. I just don't want them to go through that fence. That'd be kind of a bummer. Come on, Wee Wee. Come on, Wee Wee. Well, there's a sneak peek. I'm going to go round them up and kind of like to keep them in the coop. So they, I can shut the door and walk away and not have to stress out. But I'm going to go put them up for the night and I'll get some more videos.